So what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. We had a couple people asking how we train our cows to electric fence. Because these girls right here, remember that one's sheep right here because she came out looking like a sheep and uh, our friend neighbor that we, uh, we got them from said, uh, you know what, we're going to call her sheep. So we, we kept it because Nicole really liked the name. We asked everybody about her. We asked her what, uh, what we should name them. We've come up with a name. Her name, I think she looks like a dolly. I think it was Cindy Brown that recommended the name. So you know what, we like dolly. So I think she's gonna be called dolly from now on. So we got sheep and dolly and they weren't trained to electric fence at all. So the first day that we got them, we didn't mess around with it at all. All we did was bring them in through this gate here to be in these corrals because uh, you know, they're new here. They're just being weaned from their mamas. Just uh, a different area for them. They're a little bit freaked out. They're a little bit scared. So we want to make it to where they can't get out. And then here they can get settled. They can, you know, ball for hours and hours and hours and hours because that's what they did. They're doing a lot better now. They've calmed a lot. They've calmed a lot more down. So we let them be in here. Gave them water. We came in here with alfalfa pellets. Just I just sat in here for you know, 15 you know 10 15 minutes at a time just so they can get used to me now they'll kind of come up and you know touch me a little bit more you know smell me and uh they kind of like the alfalfa pellets they're not too crazy like the other girls are for them but that's really what it was the first day now second day this is this is what we did we kind of sectioned off the paddock to where we took the solar energizer from the other girls because they just won't touch the wire because they've been shocked enough. And we set this up to where they still had access to 90% of it, you know, especially where 90% of the grass is. I threw the bucket on this side, so they're thinking that the alfalfa pellets are inside there because the train, you know, kind of a treat to them. Not so much just yet that uh, that's good for them, that they want that. So I threw that on the other side, it's empty. Set up the energizer here, just with the our shortest strand of uh, electric. And uh, they came over here sniffing and eating. And then finally, I believe it was Dolly that touched it first. And she jumped. You heard the bow. And she was like, okay, you know what? I don't like that. And then she, she touched it too. And she kind of jumped too. So they had their first experience. I wanted to see each of them touch it for the first time. They didn't go through it, which is a good thing, you know. Because, you know, you don't know if they're going to jump back or run through. They both jump back. That's really good. They haven't been on this side. You know, I can kind of tell where the grass was eaten down and everything beforehand. They haven't been on this side. So now I know that they are 100% trained. Well, no. Now I know that they're at least 60% trained to electric fence. So that makes me a lot more comfortable. I'm going to keep this up here for a couple more days. Where what we're going to do is... We have, a, we have a permanent paddock on this side here with barbed wire and woven wire fence to where, you know, just cows can't get out. And then I'm gonna bring our cows, the ones that have been here for a while, back over here and introduce them in that paddock to where, you know, the pushing and shoving can happen, they can get used to it. Then after probably, probably about a day, I'm gonna send them out back out to pasture so they can, you know, start on our system, moving every day, eating grass, being cows, being what nature wanted cows to be. So that's that's how we're doing it. Really, really simple. Just a real quick little setup here. I only got three poles, and there's the rest of our wire. That right there is very hot. You know, it's only probably uh, 50 feet of rope or feet of feet, 50 feet of wire. So very very hot they're trained to it and that's how we one train them to electric fence and kind of receive them for the first couple days because we just want to get them calmed down and now you know they still kind of move away from me but here they're really really calm they're really good girls i like them huh gonna move away yep this one i said you're being really friendly you're gonna move away so figures right your name's Dolly, you know that? It's okay. We almost went with Seal. 
because she's as slick as a seal, and that's what one of the other subscribers said. I thought that was a pretty cool name. We had some really good suggestions. I, I almost wanted to go with Seal because one of our Longhorns out there is named Rose, after Nicole's grandma on her dad's side, and uh, kind of wanted them to meet. If they're sniffing, I can play Kiss from a Rose. That'd be funny. These girls are anxious, very anxious to go out and see their new friends. All this one, especially Dolly, she just looks out and bellows like, Hey, I'm over here. Come get me. But not yet. Almost there. Almost, almost there. These, uh, these corrals here next to our barn have worked out fantastically. We're really, really lucky that we have them. I, uh, I thought they would be useful when we first got the place. But, yeah. But I can't tell you how useful they've been. All the cows have come through here. No issues at all. I mean, this thing is, this thing's solid. I'm going to probably paint the, these to kind of preserve the, uh, the metal a little bit more. No rust or anything can happen. Any more rust, at least. And, uh, man, I'm just really, really excited about this. Other update, a little update, little other update, um, the barn. We're gonna start working on that. We're gonna start clearing it out. We're gonna start, uh, you know, doing some stuff to kind of get it prepared for what we want it to do. Have we 100% decided? No. Will it be multi-use? Maybe. So we might have, we might use it for multiple different things. Don't have a timetable on it. Just kind of wanna get a feel for it. Start cleaning it out. You know, we're probably gonna get some uh, some gravel in there. You know, a load of probably it'll probably take two or three loads of gravel to, you know, level out the floor and everything. But I am very very excited about that. You guys will get used to me. Don't worry. I wonder if they're gonna go to Betty first because they kind of probably she probably looks like their mamas. She she's got the horns, but she's same color as them. We're close to it. So I wonder if they're gonna th I wonder if they're gonna think that she's their mom. Uh, I don't know. So since her name's Dolly, her first daughter that she has, we might have to name Jolene. Because I think that's pretty funny. So if we're going to name her daughter Jolene, Sheep's daughter might have to be named Lamb or something like that. I don't know. Keep with the, keep with the flow or Ram. If it's a boy, Ram. If it's a girl, Lamb. If it's a girl, it's my, it might be like you. Why do I say you? Because I didn't know this for a very long time that a female sheep is called a U. E-W-E, -E, I believe. E-U-W-E? -E? I don't know. Somebody put it down there in the comments. I should probably look that up. I'll probably put like a little thing right there to say that's how it's spelled. U, though. It's called a U. Will we ever get sheep? I don't know. We've been having uh, some coyotes cross the property the last couple nights keeping me up with the dogs. So. Want to get that uh, under control first and get the the boys trained. You know, my two livestock guardian dogs, Harley and Hercules, to where they know what they're doing, they can handle it, and then we can revisit the issue of will we ever get sheep? I don't know, but yeah, got to handle the the um, coyote issue. There was three of them yesterday, and then they went out a couple hours later, and there was another one still there. It's just. I don't like coyotes. I don't think anybody does. I don't want to hurt them because they have just as much right to be here as anybody. But as long as they don't hurt anything here or threaten anything here, they're fine. They're good on the other side of the fence. That's where I like coyotes. Now, my thinking was also, tell me if this is a good idea or not, okay? I'm thinking about getting a paintball gun and instead of, you know, shooting them with the, you know, with lead, I'm thinking about getting a paintball gun. I'm a pretty good shot with that. I've uh, played a few games of paintball in my day. Thinking about hitting them with a paintball gun to where, one, it marks them and tells me, okay, this is the coyote that comes on the property. Two, it just stings them. It doesn't hurt them. Just stings them enough to where they go, okay, I don't want to come back here. Maybe that. Well, anyways, this video is about the electric fence with the cows. That's how we do it. We just put in a very permanent paddock, one strand of electric wire, Watch, make sure they hit it. Once they hit it, they'll get the idea. Why? Because they go, ow. Now, will we put this up just on, uh, you know, the side of a road without a, another fence behind it? Absolutely not, because it's one strand and, you know, that's a, they call it a mental barrier. Yeah, mm-hmm. Right. 
they, it, it's more of a mental barrier because it you know it gives a little bit of a shock it's like one of those you know pens that you press down on and it shocks you it's a little bit less than that actually so it's not too too bad uh, why well, I've gotten shocked more than a handful of times because you just forget the energizers on but no I wouldn't I would not put that there it's a it's a mental barrier not a physical barrier always want another you know very permanent fence to keep them in this is just to keep them where you want them and right now I think these girls are gonna do just fine I think it's time to start moving them out to pasture might happen uh, maybe tomorrow next day we'll see but for that hit the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell to get new new notifications when we put up new videos hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment if you like alright and with that we'll see you on the next one thanks